Are you ready to actually worship Beyonce? A San Francisco cathedral will hold a special Beyonce mass. Grace Cathedral announced that it will host a mass devoted to Beyonce's music and to her accomplishments. This comes after the singer's popular performance at Coachella at the Arts Festival on Saturday night. Cathedral Reverend says Beyonce's music highlights the lives of the marginalized and the forgotten, especially black females. Beyonce's mass, if you're interested, is next Wednesday night. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, right? I know there's more important issues to talk about going on around the world. But when you come across something like this, you pretty much begin to pull your hair out and punch yourself in the face and maybe even smash your head up against a wall. Because the idol worship in this country has never been more insane. A mass to worship Beyonce. Did I hear that right? A mass in a church where they will worship Beyonce. And people don't think that there's idol worship going on in this country. People go, oh, I'm just a fan of the person's music. Idol worship is extremely dangerous. It's also extremely forbidden by Christians. So having it inside of a church is just absolutely insane. And it's the definition of what an oxymoron is. But the idol worship is dangerous because people are persuaded by these people. People are influenced by these people. That is why you see these celebrities pushing all the same agendas. I guess all these Hollywood celebrities and musicians just happen to have the same feel for gender equality and raising their kids gender neutral and anti-guns and all this stuff. Oh, they couldn't be persuading their dumbed down audience into having the same political ideologies that they have, which is the same political ideologies that the new world order wants everyone to have so that they could take away all our rights and pretty much have us living in a military state under surveillance 24 seven, 365, which we're pretty much already under, but then, you know, microchipping people, transhumanism, making people worship Satan. I mean, this is all the stuff that's going on. I mean, you'd think when you saw this, that I was kidding, right? Look at the art. I mean, there's countless articles out there about it. This one says it's about time we properly worship Beyonce. Is it? Goodness gracious. Following the Grammy winners, uh, winning singers, internet breaking performance. Huh? I'm pretty sure my internet didn't break. The first weekend of the Coachella Music and Arts Festival, San Francisco's Grace Cathedral has announced that it'll host a special mass devoted to Queen Bay's music and accomplishments on April 25th. Hosted by The Vine, a weekly contemporary worship service espousing pro progressive theology set to a pop beat. The Beyonce mass will give, uh, I mean, give people a chance to sing along with their favorite songs and discover how the 36-year-old star has opened a window into the lives of the marginalized and forgotten, particularly black females. I didn't know that's what Beyonce was doing when she was singing Bootalicious. I didn't know she was talking about the marginalized and forgotten. I thought she was just dancing around like a prostitute, showing off her butt. But I guess apparently uh, people think that this is <laughs> this her music and her dancing. And this goes for any of these morons, these singers and these musicians. We're out there just talking about drink, 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 smoke it, smoke it, get high. Here's my butt. Here's my booty shake. Yeah, I mean, how inspirational. They're really, they're really uh, opening a window into the lives of the marginal marginalized and forgotten. Give me a break. Reverend Jude Harmon, the founding pastor of the Vine and director of innovative ministry for Grace Cathedral, said the plans for the service were made long before Beyonce's Coachella appearance. He says, in this year where there's been so much conversation about the role of women and communities of color, we felt the need to lift up the voices that the church has traditionally suppressed. How about you preach the gospel or don't call yourself a church? I mean, really? The Beyonce Mass is part of a series the Vine is hosting at the Knob Hill Church. Sounds like a lot of knob heads, knob jobs. Is that what they used to call them in the 60s? Jeez, nothing in their heads, really. That started with a program on Mary Magdalene called The Original Nasty Woman. Oh, how, I mean, what is this? 
So they had a program on Mary Magdalene, and it was called the original Nasty Woman. I mean, these people are so blasphemous and sick. The beauty of Beyonce's music is she explores those themes in it. <coughs> Excuse me, in a way that's accessible to everyone. We can use it as a conversation starter. That's what it's designed to be. The evening will feature readings from scripture by women of color and a sermon by Reverend Norton, who serves as the assistant professor of the Old Testament at the San Francisco Theological Seminary, where she also teaches a course called Beyonce and the Bible. I mean, how insane is this? What world am I living in, really? I know it's insane out there, but I mean, someone's teaching a course called Beyonce and the Bible? Is this person a, probably is a homeowner, right? I mean, how is this person, ma- who is attending this? And now it just gets even more blasphemous. Listen to what the reverend here and some of these people have to say. It says, uh, he says, I know there are people who will be using, or who will say using Beyonce is just a te- cheap way of trying to get people in the church. Quote, but Jesus used very pro- provocative images in the stories he would tell to incite people to ask hard questions about their own religious assumptions. He regularly provoked, we're following in the way of Jesus. I mean, really? Jesus regularly provoked? Uh, Are you talking about when he confronted the Pharisees? I mean, when was he regularly provoking people? What Bible are they reading? He was going around just provoking everybody? and, And I mean, huh? Let me just reread that. Jesus used very provocative images in the stories he would tell. Uh, I, I mean, did he have a, an art? I don't remember in the Bible saying that Jesus had a, a painter next to him. And when he told, you know, any any story they told, the prodigal son or anything like that, the person was drawing images and they were pro- provocative. Uh, what was he drawing? Stick figures? Nate? I mean, what are they talking about? Oh, my goodness. Provocative images in the stories he would tell to incite people to ask hard questions about their own religious assumptions he regularly provoked. Yeah, this is this probably wouldn't be a church that uh, anyone should recommend for anyone. Of course, that's unless you're mentally challenged and you actually want to go pray worship, praise and worship Beyonce. I mean, as if this world hasn't gone mad enough. I mean, what else can you possibly say at this point? I mean, and people are talking about it like it's a great thing. They're like, oh, oh, that's wonderful. We're going to head down to San Francisco's Grace Cathedral. I mean, really? You're going to go down there and and worship Beyonce and Bootalicious? I mean, really, what is next to come in this world? We're going to have mass uh, services to praise worship to Pee Wee Herman. I mean, what kind of, I mean, can you even think of how much more insane this stuff can get? And people think that they're, you know, they're not being influenced by these people. They're like, oh, you know how many comments I get? Uh, you know, I just did the Coachella video. And people, Beyonce fans just flock to it. And they're just, we don't worship her. We don't idolize her. She's just the best. Uh Huh? You want to rethink that statement? Pretty sure that's idol worshiping. These people are absolutely so dumbed down. They don't realize that they're using these celebrities. They use, you know, they're not going to roll out, uh, you know, Lord Rothschild or George Herbert Walker Bush out of his coffin and have them influence young kids out there because, well, just from the sight of those people, they'll probably jump out of the sleep that they're in and maybe even have a heart attack because they're walking, talking zombies who look like they've been dead for hundred years over at least. So they use these people, right? They use Beyonce. They use Justin Timberlake, right? They have them at the Super Bowl, Lady Barf Bag, Katy Perry, Right then, you throw your actors in there. Oh, let's let George Clooney and uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio tell us why there's global warming because they're so trained in it. They're professional liars, and they're going to tell us about global warming and speak at the UN. I mean, the time to stop this idol worship is now. People need to snap out of it. Stop thinking that these people are better than you. Stop looking up to them. It's a person singing a song about lollipops nine times out of ten. I mean, what is Beyonce even singing about? Lemonade. Oh, is there deeper meaning? Is that what you're going to tell me? Is the deeper meaning the videos that I used to have that they took down where Beyonce was using the Bible to, uh, you know, as some type of tampon? Disgusting filth that she's allowed to do and get away with. And people think that, oh, she's speaking for the for the youth, the, the black youth out there. She doesn't give a crap about black youth. She doesn't give a crap about anyone except Satan and the people in her sisterhood and her brotherhood. 
Because guess what? At the end of the day, that's all that these people care about is making sure everybody's on board, that everybody's worshiping the beast. That's how this whole thing works. That's what they want. A society of enslaved zombies who don't even realize that they're worshiping Satan when they say God. And these people go on stage. Beyonce talks about God and people are like, she follows Jesus. She follows Jesus. No, not quite. Not quite. And especially any person who followed Jesus would not allow somebody to have a mass worshiping them because it's blasphemous and disgraceful. Anyway, I thought I pointed out just to show you the insanity that's going on in this world. Queen Beyonce mass. You can't make it up, folks. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.